Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Open Source Gamester here. So recently, Bitcoin has been in a media spotlight. Now many people still see Bitcoin as a volatile investment, but you can't overlook the current value of Bitcoin. Currently, Bitcoin is worth over 800 US dollars. Now, rather than shelling out $800, many people are choosing to mine the roughly 9 million Bitcoins still available. So why not do this on your Android device? Let's get to it. All right, so before we get started, I'm going to assume that you already know what Bitcoin is and how it works. If not, I'll provide some links down in the description just so you can read and get a general idea of the whole process of Bitcoin and this uh, cryptocurrency that's happening. So before we get started, obviously mining on your Android device is not the ideal thing to do. Uh, for one, Bitcoin mining requires a very, pretty much at this point, a workstation graphics card, and no Android device has anything near that. Secondly, the Bitcoin mining app does not make use of your GPU at all, so it's only making use of CPU, and even on the PC, CPU mining sucks, so on mobile devices, it really, really sucks. So, but still nonetheless, it's still a great way to show the power of Android, and it's just because one of those things that you can do because it's cool. So let's actually get started. So the app I'm using is called CPU Miner, uh, and it's a trial version. You can get the full version in the Google Play Store for, I believe, let's actually scroll down. The full version is available for 131, and I highly suggest you get the full version because this app actually works well. I mean, I know there have been a few other mining apps in the market that just really haven't worked, but this one works well because it allows you to mine not only Bitcoin, but also Litecoin, which is really great because you know, Litecoin it's slightly easier to mine as far as algorithms and uh, uh, difficulty when compared to Bitcoin. So opening up, what you want to do is type in your mining pool URL, username, and password. So I am a part of Slash's pool because, of course, who isn't? All right, so for a mining pool URL, like I said, you want to put input your mining pool. I'm using Slush, so I'm just going to put the URL they provide on our site. It really doesn't matter whether or not you use the stratum or not. Uh, both of them I found to work, so yeah. And the username and password will be the worker that you have on your pool. So let me input my worker. All right, so once you have your username and password and all the information filled out, you can start mining. Now you can dedicate how many threads you want. I am using a Nexus 5 that has a Snapdragon 800 quad core processor clocked at 2.2 gigahertz, which I actually have overclocked at 2.3 gigahertz. So I'm gonna use all four threads because I really wanna, you know, stress this CPU. So let's start this. All right, so hopefully if all goes well, at the bottom here, you should see the information pop up saying start a new block and everything else. Um, and it's gonna start, uh, you know, doing the algorithm. All right, so currently we are mining. I am at about a little over a thousand kilohashes per second. And I'll mind you, this is for Bitcoin, not uh, Litcoin, because uh, for Litcoin, that'll actually be pretty good. <laughs> um, for Bitcoin, this is like I said, really extremely low. And just to note, my battery life has already dropped 2%. Right now we're at 53%. And my CPU usage is at 99%. Now, one thing I do want to show you, and this is kind of pretty uh, neat, uh, I use an app called uh, System Monitor. And as you can see, all four of my cores are active. But what you notice is that my clock speed is right now at 1.6 gigahertz. So, or actually, we're here at 1.5. It doesn't go past that. And the reason being is that thermal throttling really kicks back your CPU. So if you do this on your Android device, chances are your device will be thermal throttled back. So I'm not using the full 2.2 gigahertz with all four clock speeds, uh, with all four cores available, because that would just obviously kill my battery quickly and cause my device to really, really overheat. All right, so I'm gonna stop this right now. And now, as you can see right now, before I stop it, we're at 51%. I believe when I started this video, I was at 54. So it hasn't even been two minutes, really only been like maybe a minute and a half, and I already dropped 2% battery life. So like I said, this really is a good, great way to kill your battery. So I'm going to stop this and let's now switch to Litcoin. Litecoin. Keep going Litcoin. And the pool I'm part of is WeMineLint. So I'm just going to change the server. My worker is actually the same. So let's just change it. And this one is a stratum. Alright, so once again, after you put your server information in there, just obviously change the type to Litcoin and hit start. And it is going to be in the process. Now, I prefer using Litecoin uh, over Bitcoin because, you know, it's just actually easier to do. Um, so as, as far as my Litecoin readings, I am getting around 1 to 8 kilohashes per second. So for a mobile device, it's really not that bad. But like I said, at this speed, you really aren't going to see any progress within the next four months. 
Maybe if you have 80 different Nexus 5s all mining, then you can see some progress. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stop this before my battery depletes any longer. And as you see, I haven't even still found any shares yet, so that's kind of a little depressing. <laughs> um, so I'm going to stop it right there. So guys, this has been how to mine on your Android device. Like I said, you're really not, this is not practical. Um, I mean, right now, mining for Bitcoin is, you need pretty much a workstation graphics, and even that is like starting to become not enough. And as far as Litecoin, any high-end uh, GPU will really be what you want for mining, and not an Android device. But nonetheless, it still works great, and it's still a great way to show off the power of Android. So, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them below, and, I don't know, post your hashing score of your Android device. So, guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another Galaxy video. Thanks.